Hey guys, it's Shaylee. Welcome back to the Vanity Chair. Today is super exciting because I'm doing a Sephora haul. I cannot wait to show you guys everything I got at the Sephora VIB sale. I did go a tad overboard, but that's usually what I do this time of year because they come out with all the good holiday sets and it's just kind of hard to pass up on such a good deal. Um, it will be kind of a long video, I think, so grab some coffee, grab some popcorn, and let's just get started. So this first thing I want to show you guys, I know it's already sold out on Sephora.com, but this is the first thing I had to pick up. I knew I needed it in my life. It is the um, Shimmering Skin Perfector Trio Palette, whatever it's called, Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Palette Champagne Glow. So this is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill collab again. This was just such a good deal. It was $34. And it's three of the Shimmering Skin Perfectors from Becca. Isn't that just so pretty? It has her signature on the front. So this comes with Pearl, which is, I think it's called Pearl. Yeah, a new shade, Champagne Pop, and Blush Copper. So these are like highlighters from Becca. So pretty. Let me show you guys the swatches of them. They're just literally so creamy, so pretty. I don't love the copper one. This came out a while back and I didn't buy it just because it's too dark for my skin tone. But if you're darker, it's going to be so pretty on you. If you have like a medium to dark skin tone, it's going to be beautiful. For me, I'll probably just use it on my eyes. I think that would be really pretty. But um, Pearl is a new shade. So I'm really excited about that because it's basically like white. And since I'm so fair, I think that'll be really pretty on me. The next thing I got is an eyeshadow palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Once again, such a good deal. 14 shades in here for $35. So this is what the packaging looks like. Really pretty and simple, elegant. 14 shades in here. I cannot believe it for $35. That's like... My boyfriend always teases me, or my fiancé, fiancé, I keep forgetting to call him that, you guys, I swear, it never gets, like, you never get more used to it, really, but anyways, he always teases me when I talk about stuff like this, because he's like, oh, you'd be losing money to not buy that, and that's exactly how I feel, I feel like it would be stupid to not buy it, because it's so affordable for so many shadows in here, so anyway, so the colors in here are just so pretty, I love the fact that they're colorful, but they're like a muted version of the colors, so they're still extremely wearable, aside from this deep purple, I feel like all of them are extremely wearable, like even, I've, I cannot say this, Isla, this mint green, I think that is so pretty, this is the only one I've actually swatched in here so far, let me swatch some of the colors for you guys, isn't that so pretty, I just think even though it's mint green, you could totally wear that on an everyday basis, Look at that deep purple. Um, let's look at this. Let's see which one. Oh, I can't choose. There's so many pretty ones. Let's do metallic plum. Isn't that pretty? Just they swatch so well. So anyways, um, there are some repeats in here in case you guys are wondering. Like I know pink champagne already came out. I think buttery is already out. Um, hot chocolate might be. I don't even know. Deep purple is in the Amorese palette. I know that. The next thing I got are two liquid highlighters. I don't know why because we're going into winter like this is such a summer item but I saw both of these and I wanted them so I got them because they were such a good deal. So let's talk about this one first. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone but this is the liquid version. I have opal in liquid and I really like it. I like mixing it into foundations and things like that if I want to brighten up my skin a little bit but this one is a lighter color. It's kind of like a creamy color with a little bit of pale gold in there I think is how they describe it so yeah I just kind of wanted to add that to my collection so I have the lighter color too I want to pick up the pearl you know the white color in the um, trio palette I showed you guys a minute ago I want to pick up the liquid one in that too because I think it'd be so pretty and these are just an easy way to kind of squirt a little bit into your foundation and it makes your skin nice and glowy so yeah added moonstone and then that was $19, by the way. I forgot if I told you guys the price. And then I got a Sephora one. These are new. I haven't seen these yet. They had three shades. They had kind of a white, a pinky, which is what I got, and then a really, like, bronzy gold one that was more of, like, adding a bronze, not a highlight. The Sephora ones are $14. And these ones are more like a dropper. Like, they have a button, and you press it down, and it, like, sucks up some of the liquid for you to um, use. This one I got is called Starlight. Those are terrible swatches, but that one's Moonstone, and that one is the Starlight one from Sephora. The next thing I picked up are two Sephora brand brushes. I'm really excited about this one in particular. This one I'm not so sure about, so let's talk about this one first. This is the number 53 Pro Full Coverage Airbrush. This, to me, was just... Like, I would never normally look at this because it's short handle, and I don't know why, but I kind of am bothered when brushes are short handle because you can't put them in, like, the normal brush holder. So I would normally just, like, skip it, but I've been hearing so much about this, so I wanted to try it. It is, what is it, $38 for this brush, 
and it's really soft you guys I already washed it because I want to use it like as soon as I'm done showing you guys all these products I always wait to show until after the haul because I want them to be all nice and fresh before I show you guys so anyways this one um, it's synthetic so you can really use it for whatever you can use it for liquids you can use it for powders I'm going to use it for foundation and then I kind of want to see how it does with bronzer and face powders and things like that so I'll definitely keep you guys posted on that I'm really excited I don't know who I heard about it from but I want to say it was my friend Sarah maybe um on YouTube but anyways I don't know I'm really excited about that one and next one is called the number 55 multitasker contour brush from Sephora collection it was $24 and this one just really interested me because it's a different shape than anything I own at all. And I kind of wanted to see how it worked. Um, now that I have it, like, and I washed it and I'm looking at it, it's very dense. So I just... I feel like it's going to be kind of hard to blend because it's going to put product on there very abruptly, you know what I mean, like very densely. It might be better for like a cream product. I don't know. I I still need to play with this. I'm kind of deciding if I should return it or not. If you guys have this, please let me know. I just think it's one of those brushes that might be like a cool idea but not so good in the execution. I could be totally wrong. So I'm going to try it right in here for contouring, maybe even like highlighting with liquid highlighter. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have used this. The next thing I got is the Urban Decay Vice 4 palette. I was telling my friend Claire, because she got the Vice 3 last year, that um, I wasn't getting this, and she actually had already bought it, and she said she was loving it. All the colors were better than the colors last year, and um, I originally was going to pass on it just because I have so much eyeshadow, and I was like, I don't need that, but after talking to her, I just kept like losing sleep at night, you guys. Are you like that? I literally lay there, and I'm like, no, I need that Vice 4 because I'm going to miss out. It's limited edition. It's like, I know it's like a weird, freaky thing, but I'm just, I love collecting makeup, so I just love collecting each year that they come out with a new one. So anyways, since she said this one was better, I figured I needed it. So the cool thing about these Vice palettes um, is they come with a makeup bag, which I think is awesome because I don't typically use it for the actual palette in here. I'll like put my other makeup that I'm traveling with in this and then bring my palette. But just look how pretty that packaging is. So I mean, look at that. Urban Decay never disappoints with their packaging. It's always so pretty and unique. So this has, um, I want to say 20 shades, is it? I keep on using my Sephora app. Yeah, 20 shades, and they're never-before-seen shades, it says. So there's no duplicates in here, which is really nice. And then they always come with a brush, too. I don't want to show you the mirror because it's going to be, like, weird on camera, but see how large the mirror is? That's another cool thing about these palettes is the mirrors are so big. But look at these shadows, you guys. Seriously, my friend Claire was right. I love all these colors more than the last palette. Um, the last palette I really did like. I think it was, like, the third row over. It was all these, like, burgundy um like plummy maroon shades I don't know I liked this row I remember last year but these ones are a lot more wearable I think and this flame color I seriously bought this just for this flame color look at that orange color isn't that so pretty if you hear a little scuffling in here it's because my dogs are laying on the floor <laughs> but anyways look at that flame color and also this bitter color it's so pretty that purpley is beat down that third one i'm doing terrible swatches you guys because i'm trying to rush but there's just so many pretty ones in this palette next i got a little duo kit of lolita and lolita 2 liquid lipsticks from kat von d these are liquid lipsticks um, I don't own either of them, so I thought it was a good way to try these out. So this is what they came like. They're really tiny, but I think it's still a good deal for 20 bucks to try out both these colors. And liquid lipsticks, you only need a little bit. So honestly, I feel like people should package them this tiny anyways, because you'll never go through a whole tube of this. So um, this is Lolita 1, and this is Lolita 2, and they literally look exactly how they look in here. So I'm not going to swatch them and stain my hands all up, but anyways... Yeah, I'm really excited to try these again. I remember trying one of the, I think it was Lolita, a long time ago, and it was very drying. So hopefully I'll try them out again and I won't feel the same way. But liquid lipsticks are always drying on me. I have super chapped lips, so I'll just have to use like a primer underneath or something like that. But this is a great stocking stuffer. I think this is such a good present for 20 bucks, you know? Okay. <laughs> this next item I'm seriously like so excited for just because it's so beautiful and like visually pleasing that I just want to stare at it all day long because it's so pretty. So this is the Mi Vita Loca palette from Kat Von D. As soon as I saw this on Trend Mood on Instagram, I knew I had to have it. Even though I probably don't need it, it's just so pretty and such a good deal. So this is um, 24 shadows in here for $59. And the box is cardboard, which I wasn't super excited about just because, you know, it's going to get kind of dinged up. But it doesn't even matter because she can do no wrong. Her shadows are so pretty inside. Look at this, you guys. Oh, I feel like there should be like angels singing behind this. It's like a color wheel 
of every eyeshadow color you will ever need in your whole entire life. Like, look at how beautiful this is. So the center of the color wheel is a lot of neutrals. Some of them are matte, some are um, shimmer, like both the highlights are shimmer. This highlight over here looks like it might be matte over here. And then same kind of thing in here. All the textures of these are different too. Some of them are satiny, some of them look matte, some of them look super sparkly. So here's just a few colors just to give you guys a little taste. I can't do them all because once again this video will be too long. Also her palette came with this little like piece of um, uh, plastic that tells you some looks you can do with that palette, which I love when companies include this. I just think it's nice to give you a little inspiration. So this is like three different looks and it takes you through step by step on what colors you would use. So my friend Sarah on YouTube Scales Makeup, she's the Sarah I was saying I think recommended this brush. I can't exactly remember, but she recommended these cream shadow sticks from Sephora. They're $14, so I thought I should try one. So I picked up the color um, number 22 Dark Taupe Shimmer. I just thought that was so pretty. I've been really into Satin Taupe from MAC lately. If you guys know that color, it's so pretty on brown eyes. I mean, it's pretty on anyone, but on brown eyes too. It just makes them pop if you just put it all over the lid and kind of smoke it out. So I thought this would be really pretty underneath of it just to make it extra, like, pop. I don't know. So anyways, I got this color. And she's right. They're nice and creamy. They're going to make a perfect eyeshadow base, so I'm really excited to use that. Okay, so next I got two pairs of lashes. I've I wear lashes literally almost every day, and I wanted to start trying some nicer quality lashes. I'm just so cheap. I always buy like Ardell or Red Cherry, um, MAC because I get a discount, you know, so I don't really spend like more than I want to say maybe like $10 on a pair of lashes. So I got two that were more expensive this time just to kind of try them out. The first ones I got are by Huda Beauty. A bunch of you guys I'm sure have seen these on Instagram. But I like literally laughed out loud when I got these in the mail because I looked at them and they were just way huge. Like huge. Like way bigger than I ever thought. So I don't really know if I can wear these. I think they're going to be super dramatic. Like more dramatic than I was even going for. I don't know if I, my face can handle this. But I might try them. I don't know. Let me know if you've used any of these lashes. So these ones are the Sasha number 11. They're beautiful. Don't get me wrong. They just literally are huge. Like they look like maybe five pairs of lashes that I would normally wear stacked. So they're just very dramatic. Um, let me know. Like I said, I'm really interested in this brand. I've heard nothing but good things. So maybe I'll just take them out and pop them on and see what happens. But I want to try some of her other styles because she did have more natural styles. But those were all sold out. So that's why I picked out these ones. Okay, so luckily in that same Sephora order I did, I also got these lashes, and these look way more up my alley. These are called Quill by Sephora Collection. So my friend Sarah that was recommending the shadow stick and the other brush, she like raved about these lashes, how she loved them, how they were nice and wispy and natural, but still a little bit glam. So I wanted to try these for sure, so I'm really happy I got these. These look pretty much like a demi-wispy, but nicer quality and a little bit more like wispy and fluffy. I'm just really excited to try these ones because I think these are going to be so beautiful. Very natural, but still a little bit glam, if that makes sense. How much were these ones? The Huda Beauty ones were 20 I think these were around the same. Let's see. These are 17 so they're a little bit less. And um, Sephora Collection, they have a few different styles. It looks like three, so I might want to try some more of these too. Next thing I got, this is such a good deal, you guys. So if you like beauty blenders, definitely pick this up. They had two or three different kind of value sets from Beauty Blender, but I thought this one looked like the best. So this comes with um, two Beauty Blenders. They're the same, just one's black and one's pink, and then a mini Beauty Blender. And then this little guy down here is, it says one brand new mini reactivate to rehydrate and reactivate your Beauty Blender. So if you don't have like a sink with you to squish it under the water, you can just spray this stuff on it is what it sounds like. And I've never tried the mini Beauty I cannot talk the mini beauty blender. So I'm really excited about that for around the eye area with concealer. Um, typically, I want to say beauty blenders are about 20 bucks. So you're essentially getting like the mini guy and the reactivate spray for free in this kit. So it's just a really good set, especially if you go through beauty blenders a lot. Last but not least, I splurged a little bit for a cheek palette from NARS. I don't own any NARS palettes. So I decided to finally buy one for myself. This is $69. It is, I don't even want to say it out loud. I'm like, ah, $70 on a palette. But anyways, this is the NARS Stephen Klein One Shocking Moment Cheek Studio Palette. And it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just everything you need for your cheeks. Isn't this just such a pretty, like, it's so sturdy. I don't know. I just like this palette. Like, the packaging is really cool. Um, so this comes with a big, large mirror. The whole inside is a mirror. And then it has four blushes on the bottom row. It has a highlight powder, a contour powder, and a bronzing powder. This is Laguna. These, um, what are these contour shades called? 
Paloma. Oh, that must be the Paloma Duo. And then the blushes are Robotic, Blasphemy, Luster, and Dulce Vita. I think Dulce Vita is already sold separate. I'm not really sure about the other ones. I can't remember. But anyways, I just thought that was a great palette to buy if I was going to splurge. I mean, I know I'm going to use everything in here. It's extremely wearable for my skin tone, so I thought that would be a good one. I think this would be good all the way up till dark skin tones. You know, anywhere from light to medium. So anyways... Great NARS palette. And then you have to take advantage of all your points. You guys know this at Sephora. You can trade them in for perks. So I picked up the Kate Somerville Exfoliate. I used to have this in a full size. I wish I still did, but it's pretty pricey, so I haven't repurchased it. But this is awesome. It's a manual exfoliator as well as a chemical exfoliator. So you kind of rub it all over your face, and it's a grainy feeling, you know, to actually slough off some old skin. And then you let it sit, and it just leaves your skin feeling like... A fresh new surface so I love this it smells like black licorice if I'm not mistaken I haven't used it in so long I think this is the one that smells like black licorice so some people might not like that but anytime you see this as a perk if you like it get it because it's pricey yeah it smells like black licorice and then I just got a little roses de Chloe fragrance sample to try and then Elizabeth and James Nirvana black Oop, Ellie's awake from her nap um this is the black one obviously <laughs> Elizabeth and James Nirvana black this smells so good especially mixed with the white one those are really good together and I just thought for 100 points a little rollerball that's awesome value and then I got two of these pores no more pore refining primer from Dr. Brandt I haven't tried this but I love pore refining primers so I got two of those guys for 100 points each so yeah that is everything I picked up from Sephora thank you guys so much for sitting through this whole haul if you're still watching I know it's probably really long please let me know what you got in the Sephora VIB sale down below I'd love to hear what you guys picked up I really wanted the glam glow lip treatment thing and I didn't get it and then I out, I'm probably still going to get that and then I did really want the Marc Jacobs big palette but then I ran out of time and I didn't get it with my discount and now I can't stop thinking about that so anyways let me know what you guys picked up thanks for watching I'll see you guys soon and have a great day bye